In this lecture, we are going to learn what are different classes of fire, what are different types of fire extinguishers, and which fire extinguisher to be used on which class of fire. Fire is a process in which oxygen combines rapidly with fuel to produce heat and light. Fire requires three components to burn and the removal of any of these components will extinguish the fire. These components are number one fuel. Fuel can be any combustible material. It can be solid, liquid or a gas. Number two oxygen. Oxygen needs to be in sufficient volume to support the process of combustion. And number three heat. The heat must be in sufficient intensity to raise the temperature of the fuel to its ignition or kindling point. There are six classes of fire, namely class A, class B, class C, class D, class E and class F fire. Class A fire consists of combustible materials such as flammable solids, wood, paper and fabrics. Class B includes flammable liquids such as petrol, turpentine or paint. Class C includes flammable gases such as hydrogen, butane or methane. Class D includes combustible metals such as magnesium, aluminium or potassium. Class E includes electrical equipment. Once the electrical item is removed, the fire changes class. And class F includes cooking oils, typically a chip pan fire. Class A fire is one in which solid combustible material burns, such as wood, paper or cloth. Control cabins or passenger compartments are example of location where class A fire are likely to occur. Since the interior of the passenger compartment and of the cockpit are readily accessible to the crew, fire detection in these areas is generally accomplished by visual surveillance. On the other hand, such fire can also occur in baggage compartments and laboratories where crew access is limited or even impossible during flight. In these areas, monitoring is primarily accomplished with electrically powered smoke or flame detector systems. Class B fire are composed of combustible liquids such as gasoline, oil, jet fuel and many of the paint thinners and solvents used in the aviation maintenance. On an aircraft, these classes of fire typically occur in engine compartments or nacelles and in the compartments that house an auxiliary power unit. Since operating temperature within these areas can be extreme, overheat detection systems which sense the rate of temperature rise are often used to monitor the zone for the presence of fire or overheat conditions. Class C fire is just like an ordinary combustible fire except that the fuel used is a gas such as a natural gas. A solid stream of water should never be used to extinguish this type of fire because it can cause the fuel to scatter, spreading the flames further. The most effective way to extinguish a liquid or gas fuel fire is by inhibiting the chemical chain reaction of the fire, which is done by dry chemical and halon extinguishing agents. Class D fire involves burning metals such as magnesium and are difficult to extinguish. Using the wrong type of extinguishing agent, with these may not only be ineffective but may even cause the fire to spread. Although these type of fires are not common in aircraft during flight, they can occur in maintenance shops where metal shavings may ignite when exposed to intense heat such as from a welding torch or high voltage source. Class E fire are those that involve energized electrical equipment. These fires require special care because of the dangers from the electricity in addition to those from the fire itself. Such fires are generally confined to electrical and electronic equipment bays and are areas behind electrical control panels. Since the initial stages of the electrical equipment fires are usually preceded by a large amount of smoke, these areas of an aircraft are generally monitored by smoke detection systems. Class F fires are technically a subclass of flammable liquids or flammable gas class. The special characteristics of these type of fires are considered important enough to be recognized as separate class of fire. Saponification can be used to extinguish such fires. Appropriate fire extinguishers may also have hoods over them that help extinguish the fire. Depending on the nature of the class of fire, the best method for suppression may be one of the following. Number one, cooling the fuel below its kindling point. Number two, excluding the oxygen supply. And number three, 
separating the fuel from the oxygen. These methods have led to the development of different type of extinguishers for different type of fires. Fire extinguishers could be of one of the following types. Water type, foam type, dry powder type, carbon dioxide type, or wet chemical type. Water type fire extinguishers are used for class A fire and they have a bright red label. Water has a cooling effect on the fuel causing it to burn much more slowly until the flames are eventually extinguished. Water type fire extinguishers are used for organic materials such as paper and cardboard, fabrics and textiles, wood and coal. Do not use water type fire extinguishers for fires involving electrical equipment, kitchen fires or flammable gas and flammable liquids. Second type of fire extinguisher is foam type. Foam type is used on class B and class A fire and they have a cream label color. The foaming agent creates a barrier between the flame and the fuel, thus extinguishing the fire. This type of fire extinguisher is used for organic materials and flammable liquids like paint and petrol. Do not use foam type fire extinguishers for kitchen fires, fires involving electrical equipment or on flammable metals. Third type of fire extinguisher agent is dry powder. Dry powder type fire extinguishers can be used in class A, class B or class C fires. And they have a blue label color. Dry powder smoother fires by forming a barrier between the fuel and the source. Dry powder fire extinguishers are used for organic materials such as paper, cardboard, fabrics, coal, flammable liquids such as paint and petrol and flammable gases. LPG and acetylene. Do not use dry powder type of fire extinguisher for the fires involving cooking oil, fires involving electrical equipment over 1000 volt or do not use them in enclosed spaces such as offices or houses. Dry powder fire extinguishers are not recommended to be used in enclosed spaces. This is because the powder can be easily inhaled and also the residue is very difficult to clean up after. Dry powder fire extinguishers can also be used on some electrical fires and specialist dry powder fire extinguishers are used for flammable metals. Thus, dry powder fire extinguishers can be used on class A, class B, class C, class D and class E fires. Carbon dioxide type fire extinguishers can be used on class B and class E fires. They have a black label color. Carbon dioxide extinguishers suffocate fires by displacing the oxygen. They are used for flammable liquids like paint and petrol and on electrical fires. Do not use carbon dioxide type fire extinguishers for kitchen fires, combustible materials and flammable metals. The last type of fire extinguisher is wet chemical. Wet chemical type fire extinguishers are used for class F and class A fires. They have a yellow label color. Wet chemicals create a layer of foam on the surface of the burning oil or fat, preventing oxygen from fueling the fire any further. The spray also has a cooling effect. These are used for cooking oil or fat fires. These are also used on organic materials such as paper and cardboard, fabrics and textiles, wood and coal. Do not use wet chemical fire extinguishers for flammable liquids or gas fires, for electrical fires and for flammable metals. So before you fight the fire, make sure you are using the right type of fire extinguisher for the right class of fire.